Good day to one and all. This is Dr. Sivaraman of iNoIndices.com. Hope oh, you are able to hear me. Good day, Sandra. Thanks for confirming. The audibility is fine. Asian session live market analysis on January 30th between 5 and 5 30 GMT. We will review the market, the Forex market, using the live market code, code page as the tool. So I am giving the new link with regard to the live market code page. It is the code page derived, get, obtained from forexpros.com and this code page is customized to give you the split up of the majors and also the crosses separately and also those who are coming from India and also the Southeast Asia, they can also see the codes of the respective currency. I give the link for the same. Yeah. Now we can just save it in our favorite and open it in a browser and you will be able to see the Lime Market code page like this. Hope the code page is visible. Now in this code page we come across the four majors and the two commodity pairs which are being listed and with regard to the bid and the ask the codes are available and also the high and the low which are required for our market analysis also the next change then the GMT time frame so the four majors and two commodity pairs are listed in the first table then followed by that you come across you can just scroll down you will come across the cross also New Zealand dollar is included in that. Then Euro Yen, Euro GBB, Euro CHF, Australian dollar Yen and all those crosses are being listed here. And you can see correspondingly the high low and the net change in all the crosses. Then at the bottom table you come across the INR because I am from India. So many people are asking with regard to INR focus. So they can also know how exactly the behavior of the Indian rupee is and also with regard to Singapore dollar and also Hong Kong dollar are given here. So this code page you can use it which is customized in order to provide a, a simple tool to track the market. Now currently Euro is trading around 1.3177, 1.3179. The high is 1.3327, the low is 1.3171, 42 pips negative net change is seen. On Friday, you would have noticed that Euro was making a lackluster move during the early part of the US session and it was trying to make small swings and appearing as if it is going to drop. So I was watching in fxtreet.net blog and the people who are doing extensive analysis and trying to take sell positions during that time. So I was able just looking at how exactly the traders react to such market moves. So they make the market appear weak and finally it was close of the US session they gained the levels in the case of Euro and GBP. So that indicated very clearly that they make the market appear weak and induce the traders to take sell positions and afterwards they gained the levels on Friday and induce them to do the short covering for the weekend. So this is the simple logistics they try to use it on a daily basis in the market so that the people try to follow the charts and technical analysis and find that the resistance is acting very strong near that of 1.3177 and it may not go about that but actually they went up to that and came down to 1.314555 and even 39 level and just hovering around that particular level and induce the traders to take small profit during the dip so the traders committed more and finally they have taken it to the higher level so this is the type of market manipulation they try to do and this we need to understand. What appears in the market is not true. So they have a hidden agenda that we need to understand. So Euro is making about 40 pips negative net change. 
and from the start it opened lower and it made a brief upward stop and then start coming down and in the case of usdn from that of 77 level it has gradually come to 76 area again back to square one so it has formed 76 78 as the high and 76 65 as the low two pips negative net change is seen and in the case of gbp it was appearing uh, very weak on friday during the us session it came down to 656.45 and people were thinking that it could go down for the drastically but they took it up to 57 area and today the high is 5736 the low is 5709 so this is how they induce the traders to commit positions and then try to trap them similarly in the case of chf they dropped it below that of the psychological level 92 area and came down to 9122 and when today 9122 has become the low and 9126 is the high and you find 25 pips positive net change when euro is making 40 pips negative net change usdc hf has made only about 25 pips positive net change and as a result you find euro chf has made a dip to 1.2058 1.2062 area so this is how you find that they are just making a brief downward stop and and also in the case of euro gbp euro has got more negative net change when compared to that of gbp as a result you find euro gbp has just shown 18 pips negative net change because euro is euro has made more dip when compared to that of gbp then later on they may retest 84 area what they are tested on friday and then start making the slide because they have to build the sell positions before make slide so today they could build the sell positions afterwards it could come across the slide happening then in the case of chf and they have made the uh, usd weakening move to start with on friday and again they are expected to make the usd Uh, weakening move briefly today, and later on you will find a contrarian move happening when euro and GBP are gaining. USD CHF is also expected to gain. It could hover around that of 91 area with brief downward stop, and and later on it is expected to go up. Then Canadian dollar they came below that of parity briefly to 99.758 uh, level. and today it has formed the low 1.0011 1.0038 is the high 14 pips positive net change is seen so when compared to chf canadian dollar has gained only less than pips from that of friday close in australian dollar it was just vigorously going almost closer to 1.07 which has come down and which is showing more negative net change of 62 pips currently trading around 1.0595 1.0590 and 1.0653 is the high a quick upward stop and then followed by that a drop to 1.0574 slowly they could lose the levels in the case of australian dollar and gain the levels in the case of canadian dollar because they are doing the usd gaining move ahead of the other times the majors are showing contrarian moves because euro Dip and USD and dip. Because of that, Euro yen and GBP yen are showing negative net change. So GBP yen is there, and which is showing negative net change, and Euro yen is also showing negative net change. Then later on, they are expected to show the USD weakening move. in the case of euro and gbp and also usd gaining move in the case of the denominated currencies but australian dollar would come down some more and then it will hover around in that level of 1.05 to 1.06 level for some days and with an upward stop and like this to 1.0653 and then come down go below that of 1.05 to 1.0450 level and that sort of swing could be seen in this time frame so let me just come back to the of the powerpoint presentation so we normally watch the live market put page and make a note of the initial lows and the highs in four majors and two commodity pairs initial low and the high and also we observe 
frequently in exchanges in order to understand what sort of moves they intend to make during this particular day as a market trading technique and also the sequence of their reversal intraday reversal they try to do it from time to time from session to session so we track the market using the gmt time frame so what type of move they have done it on friday you would notice that they quickly gained the levels during the late us session and that was an extended move so when they are gained the level and they were holding higher level and just inducing the short sellers up towards the intentional move it has to happen the intentional move will be opposite to that of the extended move so today's intentional move will be so slide during that of the japanese session and with little bit of volatile moves and they are expected to slide a little more during that of the european session and also the us session and tomorrow for the month and thirty first they are expected to make an upward move again so they are expected to make very big volatile moves under to hundred and fifty pips from that of one point three two they could come down to one point three zero five zero and then again go to one point three two five zero and then come down to one point three one that's sort of volatile move they are expected to make in this particular week. What is special about this particular week? Because it is a week wherein Jan gets over and February starts. So whenever you come across in a week, a particular month gets over and the new month starts. So 30th and 31st of January, 1st, 2nd and 3rd of February fall in this particular week. So we can expect more virulent volatile moves to happen in this particular market. So we have to be very, very careful and we can only do swing trades, not position trades during this particular time frame now with regard to the initial lows and the highs noted down around 330 gmt you know formed the low at the time was 1.3174 and now you come across 1.3171 as the new low and currently trading around 1.317981 and the high was 1.3227 and the market is not gone closer to that and it is only staying closer to that of the low then GBP, oh sorry, I have made a wrong note of it. Then GBP formed the low 1.5709 and that low is intact. You can check it up in the line market code page. The high is 1.37, I mean 5736, that is also not disturbed. So only in the case of Euro, they made a dip below that of the initial low. Then in the case of Yen, 76.69 was the low and they just formed 76.65 and staying below that of 76.69 which has formed as the initial low around 330 GMT. 76.78 is the high which is not distant. So in the case of Yen also, they just breached the low and there is a possibility they could make a downward stop and before making a rise because 76 area people might think that it is an attractive buy level and on friday they just made a drop below that of 76 uh, 50 so they will try again a dip and then start gaining the level to 77 in this course in this particular week and as i explained this week is known to show more volatile moves they are expected to show initially the lower level in the case of USDN and by end of this week they are expected to show the higher level like 78, 79 because they wanted to handle the options and the futures, the derivative market. And in the case of CHF, 9122 is the low which is not disturbed, 9154 was the high and they breached the high by two pips and formed 9156 but still below that of 9154. And so they could oscillate here and then slowly gain the levels during the day. At that time, they could make a dip in the case of Yen and rise in the case of CHF to handle CHF Yen cross. Then in the case of Canadian dollar, 1.00111 is the low, 1.0038 is the high. And you find that they are not breached the low or the high. In the case of Australian dollar, 1.0574 is the low, which is not breached. 1.0653 is the high which is also not breached and later on during the course of the day they could breach the low during that of the US session 
and till such time they might be holding closer to that of the low. And so, in the case of euro, they breached the low, in the case of yen, they breached the low, and in the case of CHF, they breached the high. The rest of the currencies are just making swings within this particular initial low and the high not yet breached. So, what we expect using the algorithm, the market moves. Then subsequently, I'll explain to you the market reading. Then Japanese session, swing and slide moves are expected. Slowly, they are expected to come closer to low and breach it again. And a dip could be seen during that of the early European session. Early European session, they could make a dip and then rise quickly. And that might give an impression that it is going to rise further up. And but swing and slide moves could be seen during that of the year session because it is a monthly trend reversal time, a week in which you find current month gets over and the new month starts. So during that time, they are expected to make more volatile moves in the market and then subsequently continue with regard to the trending moves, what they have been doing it last uh, this month. So they are expected to gain aggressively. The levels in the case of Euro and GBP and also in the case of USDN and USDCHF and commodity pairs are expected to show USD gaining move. These are all the type of moves we are expecting in this based on the algorithm. So the contrarian moves are expected to continue. So just because Australian dollar looks more stronger when compared to the Euro with regard to the pit change, if we try to take Buy positions in Australian dollar, they make you less profit. But when you take position in the case of Euro and GBP, they will be able to give more profit in the process. So that you have to understand and try to handle it properly. Now, coming to the door, the moves in the rest of the week. Then tomorrow is 31st, the 31st of January, the month in time. They are expected to make flat opening and nominally gain during that of the Japanese European session and then towards late European session they are expected to make one more drop and then US session they are expected to spike up. So first two days of this week they are expected to make the USD gaining move. In that process zero and GDP are expected to come down. USDN and USDCHF could gain more and showing the USD gaining move. And that is being shown ahead by the Canadian dollar and Australian dollar because they just reverse and lead the rally on the downside during the trend reversal time. So they are expected to make aggressive. Australian dollar is expected to make for the draw. And then afterwards, Canadian dollar is also expected to rise. USD CAD is expected to rise, show USD gaining move. So today and tomorrow, we could come across more of USD gaining move. Why I'm talking about tomorrow? Because if you think that today it has dropped so we can do buy and sell, then probably you might get struck. But during early European session drop, if you try to buy, late European session, you should be able to exit. Again, they are expected to make the slide during that of the US session. And tomorrow again, they are expected to make a volatile move of this nature. After the late European session drop, if you buy tomorrow, and that can be used for position trade. First, second, and third, they are expected to make the gaining moves. And that gaining move on Friday, they are expected to make volatile moves for non farm payroll. And then subsequently, they are expected to gain more levels in the case of Euro and JDB in a much quicker way from second week of February. So during trend reversal time, that is what I was telling you on Friday, try to book profit and re-enter into the market on Monday, Tuesday during the drop. And if you want to do position trade, then tomorrow's drop you try to take buy positions in the case of zero, probably around 1.30 level and in the case of GBB around 1.56 level and then you will be able to see more aggressive gains in coming days. That can be used as a monthly trade, a position trade. By month end, you try to take the position. 
and then next month end you exit out of that with a phenomenal profit those who are doing the position trade using the options and features you be able to really get the benefit they could enter into that as market on friday during the uh, sorry on 31st on 10th during the late european session if they could take buy position then they can exit by end of february to minimize the powerpoint presentation and try to answer to the other questions which are asked here meanwhile i'll focus the camera on the of the live market code page say i am giving the trading ideas they are all just suggestions but you have to use your own discretions to take positions then this to read the month end trend trend reversal move should we expect australian dollar to lead the negative net change yes followed by yen cross then show negative net change and before majors you are right then yen then majors and also the european crosses then written what happened to fact bank could page the sector bank has discontinued providing this particular code page and they wanted to give the net change only in the form of percentage so a new table they have the uh, one code that is traded level high low and the percentage and not even the gmt so which we may not be able to use it as the uh, live market code page as a trading tool so i inform the sector bank people to incorporate all those additional columns and provide in the new format because they wanted to from that of java they wanted to come to the some other format like a flash format so that is why they are taking time and they are discontinued with the old one so i hope soon they will come back with that of the live market code page i asked them to intimate me let us see this is time we will use this particular live market code page wherein i have just segregated in three tables so in the earlier table even the crosses the initial low and the highs were not fully available many of the crosses were not available now you can find most of the crosses are being shown in the live market code page as a single page we can use it as a tool and also those who want to know about the regional currencies like singapore dollar indian rupee etc they can also hong kong dollar etc they can also see that okay jan do you think us dollar nr can gain today also we are expected to weaken to 4546 level inr is expected to weaken if you see in the live at code page you can see the inr is listed here so correct currently trading around 49 47 49 48 with a gain of 25 points that and they are expected to gain up to 50 by by tomorrow and then later on start losing the level well is very similar to that of euro and gbp they are expected to behave and soon we will come across they will move first before that of the commodity pairs normally the regional currencies reverse first the regional currencies reverse first then later on the commodity pairs come into play so those who are tracking the majors as well as the regional currencies will know when exactly the commodity pairs are going to reverse so that is the first one they try to use it for the reversal so by february we should be able to see 45 46 area and once it breaches 49 it could come across sudden drops happening in the case of usd inr then shen is usd cad likely to go below parity the week i think they have shown it on friday and i am not anticipating it to go below parity again because today and tomorrow they are expected to make the usd gaining move in the trend reversal time so at that time they are expected to gain levels so these are all the good levels to buy and they are expected to gain it okay 
and for some reason I can still use that so bad. Oh, it's great. Then fine. You can continue to use it, please. <coughs> because <coughs> I checked with many of the clients using the Lime Market code page and they said that it is not coming. Probably you are not closed the window and discontinue with the comp I mean, we are not shut down the computer. It is running 24 hours and in that process, it might be getting the feed. Okay. In DDPT, what is expected of Australian dollar today and tomorrow? Do you expect Australian dollar to revisit 1.04? Yeah, there is a likely chance it could go to 1.04 area. Then Matthew, during uptrend move, any stop and do you expect uh, below 1.30 level in Euro USD. I don't think so that they will just make it because on Friday they have done it and gained the level to 1.32. They may come to 31 and below that they could make downward stop and not go to 1.300 level. Between 31 to 30 they could set the low during this particular week. Mentioned here's the Singapore dollar is likely to go back to 1.31. Yes, you will come across Singapore dollar weakening again to 1.29 to 30 area in DTPT. What would be the good level to long Australian dollar population around 0 1.04 level? But you can book only around 1.06 or 07 level, and more profit. Uh, get, Gaining opportunity will be seen in the case of Euro and GBP when compared to Australia and Don't keep it in mind. As I explained, they lead the rally and lag behind like now. They are just doing the reverse rally now on the downside. So only on Friday wherein they can create a lot of uncertainties and so people might be afraid of carrying a position to the next week and they try to go in for a short covering and things like that. So Friday is the time they just squeeze the traders to do either short covering or long liquidation in an extraordinary way. But Monday, Tuesday and all people don't mind waiting for the next day. So Australian dollar, uh, when they show anything around 1.03, you can just take it as a position to it. Yeah, you are not shut down. Okay, then DDPT, uh, GBP expected to visit 1.56 area, yes, it is. it could come down to 1.56 area, uh, like uh, GBP may not drop similar to that of Euro this time, during trend reversal time, they may just visit 1.56 and come above that of 1.58, go to 1.58 and come down to 57. And that way, you know, they will try to push down Euro GBP because they just gained levels in the case of Euro GBP and they wanted to push it down. For that, GBP is expected to make less drop when compared to that of Euro. Then uh, written, the focused on gold. Gold is expected to uh, undergo the monthly trend reversal time. So any dip is a buy opportunity in the case of gold and they are expected to again gain the levels uh, by end of this week. Then afterwards you could come across about a week there will be a drop. Then they will try to make sideways moves. Then Jason, do you expect a USD CAD above 1.04 level? Uh, may not be immediately this week. They could gain to 1.03 area in this week. Then DDP. How much downward move is expected in the case of Euro by tomorrow? That's what I said that they could come to 1.31 and go below 1.31 as a downward stop and, and then start gaining the level. And uh, nowadays, you know, when they are making a downward stop and they don't stop with 50 pips drop. So suppose they, if they are around 1.31, they come down up to 1.3025 and then go up. Because of thin volume condition, they try to go in for three successive psychological levels. So now currently it is around 1.3177. So 
So 1.3175 is one psychological level. Then 1.3150 is another psychological level. 1.3125 is another psychological level. Hope you are able to understand that. So every 25 years, the earlier occasions when the volume was optimally good, they used to make about 25 to 50 percent drop and then go up. This time, uh, I have been observing that they make 75 percent drop and go up because of reduced volume condition. They have to make quick drop up to 75 percent in order to get maximum stops being filled. So in the process, we could come across uh, Euro visiting to 1.3050 or 35 and then go up. Then leading. What would be the good level USDC agent? Now you can take buy position around 91 area. They are expected to go to 95 area soon. What is expected of USDC HF? I think that's what I answered. Okay, no more questions. So let me go back to that of the PowerPoint presentation. So with regard to the initial lows and the highs, Euro breached the initial low and formed the new low, 1.3171. And now hovering around that, uh, above that of uh, 74 initial low, but they are expected to breach it again. Then GBB 1.5709, they are not breached it. From there you can understand, even though they are closer to that, they are not breached it. You can understand that they are do, trying to do only a false move in the case of GBB. But to create sentiment, they may make a downward stop. And so only when GBB cuts the low, immediately people think that it is a downward move because GPB is used to create the sentiment. That also you have to keep in mind. It is going to be the trend reversal week. So two days of January 30th and 31st and three days of the next month February 1st, 2nd and 3rd are falling in this particular week. So there will be very big volatile moves expected to happen in the market. So aim only for swing trade and when the profit is seen, try to protect it using a trailing stop and the limit order. Then USDCH of 9122 is the low, they are not breached it and currently 9154 is the high. They are just made a brief upward stop and for two pips and come down. They are expected to gain the levels in the case of USDCH of today. Making use of the drop in the case of Euro because Euro they have made the downward stop and and GBP they have made an upward stop. They indicated it. Then Canadian dollar low is not breached. High is also not breached. But they are closer to high. They could just gain straight away the levels in the case of Canadian dollar. USD cash. <laughs> then Australian dollar 1.0574 is the low. And they are expected to breach the low. Because it is staying very close. So that our current market is staying very close to the level low. Now you find 70 pips negative net change when euro is showing only 41 pips negative net change. So they intend to breach the low. So we can do a buy and sell and buy trade or wait for the full drop and try to do buy and sell. 1.0653 is the high. They have not uh, stayed there for a long time near the high. They quickly made the drop after making a brief upward stop. That upward stop and also indicated that they want to make a downward move. So expected market moves as per the algorithm. Swing and slide moves are expected during that of the Japanese session. And European session is expected to show a dip and a rise quick move. And again there you can take a sell. And swing and slide moves are expected during that of the US session. And tomorrow also they are expected to make more downward move in the case of Euro and GPB. And that these two days will be utilized and very quickly they are expected to gain the levels in the case of denominator currency. And you would have noticed that Euro and GPB from 1.31 or 32 to 1.26 level, it took several days to come down. Whereas in a matter of one week, they just gained back all the losses. So slow drops are intentional moves, they just drop and buy. 
and quickly gain the levels and now anybody who buys after the rise they always try to punish by making a downward move and then continue the rise so upward channel is still intact but only thing is month and trend reversal come here so any holding position if it is making profit try to exit over there or hedge market and during small rises you can hedge it and then try to book profit tomorrow in the case of hedges and keep another hedging order to limit the risk for the downward downside risk and then when they gain the levels you trail the hedging order upward and try to maximize the profit on the buy side so today and tomorrow they are expected to make more of a downside move then they have rise and denominated currencies are expected to rise so what you can do focus on denominated currency and take positions today and tomorrow then tomorrow by european session drop you take positions in the case of euro and gbp and so you book profit in the denominator currencies and then enter into the different numerator currencies this way if you try to do it you will be continuously making money don't have any sentimental attachment to any currency pairs because they are all tradable so whichever is going to give good profit earning prospect you try to focus on those currencies so i take this opportunity to thank fx street and also you people who have come here to listen to my webinar and i'll come again tomorrow uh, same time 5 gmt and do it another analysis of asian session so using the live market code page and i'll also post it in the blog and then you will see how exactly they are making the moves as an intensive move on the downside today thank you one and all see you tomorrow